Hey guys, what's up? This is Josh, aka Casket13. Um, Dave's finally here. Super pumped about this. Um, I'm doing my unboxing for my CBCS submission. Um, it was a decent amount. It was 11 comics. So, biggest one I've ever done. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it, guys. Um, I've got my grades that I guessed. You guys also hopefully have seen the previous video. So, uh, we'll see how close I was. Um, this is my first time doing this. Um, I've been a comic fan for a long time. Um, but I, you know, I mean, I, I, I feel like I would hope to say I know like a grade of a comic pretty well, but you know, as opposed to getting a professional grade, it's a big difference. So let's see here. A lot of packaging, as you can see. Alright, um, I'll paper out of the way. I'll have to stand up for this a little bit so I can get this out here. Now comes with a bunch of paper wrapped around it. And it is bubble wrapped. So here's the bubble wrap comics. There should be all over them. Like they're all there. So, I'm not sure the order of these, um, but I do have the uh, little post it with all of my grades that I guessed. So, we'll get into it. We're going to do it upside down. I'm just going to reveal the grade to you guys as I see it. So, I might do a little head swivel so I can peek around the camera and see. I knew what exactly great I got on it. Sorry about the noise. They definitely wrapped in good. So, which I'm cool with, I'm not complaining with. Layer cut off. Go down. Now I'm going to look down because you can see a little thing on the back that shows you grades for the top. So we're going to just get into it. Looks like this one is Something's Killing the Children, uh, pen and ink number one. Uh, my guess was a 9.6. So let's do it like this. See if we can see the gray. Ready? And let's see. 9.6. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. That was a good guess. Um, a little closer to the camera. I'm go ahead and see if we can get it there. Let's see the gray. 9.6. All right. So, yeah. And it's the black and white pen ink. So that's awesome. I was really happy with that. Okay. All right. Next is. Hold the comic up, let's see. Okay, so my spotted one. Um, this is Gwenverse or um, Shadow Clones number one, the Peach Momoko variant. Um, I guess a 9.6 on this. Um, let's see what we got. We got 9.4. Ooh, that was a little rough. Um, it's these came straight from the comic uh, shop into a bag and board to them, so that's a little rough, but uh, yeah, they're white covers. So they're harder to get higher grades. Okay, so what we got here? This is, this is number two for Shadow Clones. Um, I had all the Shadow Clones at a 9.6. So we'll see what this one's at. This one at 9.6. Okay, that one's good. I like it. Alright, so 9.6. Shadow Clones number two. The Peach Momoko variant with Gwen as uh, Sam and Gwen. So, yeah. Alright, so this should be, follow oh, suit, this should be Shadow Clones number three. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna do the reveal. It is 9.8. Nice. Nice, I like that. That's good. Uh, this is the Vulture cover, with her as the Vulture. Really cool, I really 
like that one. So I'll go back over at the end, guys, and show you the grades again. And this should be Shadow Clones number four. Let's see what we got here. There we go. We got. Nine point six. I'm fine with that. Nine point four for the first one's a little rough, um, but the grades for the rest of them are pretty accurate for what I had. I feel like they were all about the same shape, so yeah. All right, so next is Afterlife with Archie number six. So Afterlife with Archie number six um, is the first uh, lead-in to Sabrina for Chilling's Adventures of Sabrina comics. Um, one of my favorite characters, so I just want to get it graded. So I guessed on this one, uh, Afterlife with Archie number six, I guessed a 9.2 on this one. So let's see what we got here. You guys can see it for me. 9.6, that's awesome. That's a lot better than I thought I would get. So, I am super satisfied with that one. That's awesome. Heck yeah. Okay. Um, next we have one of our first of two autographs. Let's see, I'll hold it up and see what the picture is. One of them was uh, Amazing Spider-Man number five, or four, which is first appearance of Silk. And the other one was Frey number one. And this is, ooh, Amazing Spider-Man. Okay, this one's a big one. So I guessed on Amazing Spider-Man, I guess 9.4. So let's hope it gets somewhere close to that. It's a white cover, tough to guess, let's see. You guys can see it first. 9.6, super satisfied with that, super satisfied. It's awesome. And it is certified. That's Victor Alazaba. It is the first appearance and origin of Cindy Moon as Silk. Yeah, that's awesome. Really excited about that one. This one is, this one is Chilling Adventures number one. This is my lowest grade. I guessed an 8.5. Could be lower. We'll see. But uh, that was, I guess. So we'll see what we got here. One thing you got to see before me. Great. 9.4 whoa that was way off on that one but uh, i am not going to complain that is awesome this is the origin of sabrina for chilling adventures of sabrina so i am super happy with that man that is almost a full grade higher than i guessed so all right here's my next signature slab um this is fray number one this is the dynamic forces cover it's a foil uh, signed by, uh, I always say, I want to say, Carl Moline. Yeah, he, uh, have some, I have some custom pieces from him. He's an awesome artist. Um, the arch is great in this. So we'll see, I guess for Frey, number one, I guess a 9.0. Yeah. You guys can see it before me, as always. 9.0. That's what I guess. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. I'm pretty good. So probably one been one that was a little, that was under what I guess. So I'm happy with that. Um, next is the last of us um this is the american dreams variant cover from buying the collector's edition from uh, man um gamestop yeah it was just the the collector's edition of or the deluxe edition of last of us the first one came out in 2013 um i don't have that one here i missed it i think i had gone at first i wanted a 9.4 but i had gone down all the way down to 9.0 because i think i found the nick on the back so I'm going to say 9.0 on this one. You guys can see the grade first. 9.4. All right, yeah. I am happy with that. That's good. All right. Down to the last, last comic, which is, um, this one is actually for my roommate. Um, I'm not sending off of mine. This should be Supergirl. Oh, I just got all my stuff in there. Okay. Stuff out here. It's got my dynamic forces verification. That doesn't really matter because they still have to verify it. But yes, this is Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, number one. Friends a huge Supergirl fan, so I have this at a 9.6. Here we go. I'm pointing awesome. Let's see what pumps up at. Alright guys, so I will um 
That's it for the grading. Man, it's such a rush at first. Um, I'm going to take them out real quick. They'll be going on my slab anyway, so this way you can get a better look. I had guessed a 9.6 on this one. I had guessed a 9.0 on that one. And just for the record, guys, these came back super quick. Um, I set these off on June 16th at Heroes Con to CBCS. Um, not only that, but I sent them at, you know, I sent them off and then I didn't get the email that they were actually in the facility in Texas until a week later. So like the 23rd and this is the, what the fourth was Tuesday. So this is the eighth. So I mean, easily less than a month, almost about two weeks. So I'm really happy with this, really happy with CBCS. These, all these grades are really good. Um, this one I had guessed a 9.0. So this is the one, the main one that I was dead on. I did try to be conservative with some of them. Uh, so some of them I was pretty on. Uh, Sabrina was probably my most that I was off, but the one I'm happiest to be, the, I guess the 8.5 on this one, so super happy um yeah man this is just this is exact, i'm saying man i love i have, don't have a lot of as you see i have a few graded comics up here but i don't have a ton so it's super exciting to get these graded um this one i guessed a 9.4 in this one hoping for 9.6 9.8 so that's awesome so i love the yellow slabs um Afterlife, this one was another one that I guessed a 9.2. I was hoping for a 9.4 at best. Um, so yeah, so that is awesome. Um, just really excited. So yeah, it says, yep, including six page preview of Chilling Adventures Sabrina number one, and it has Sabrina's appearance. Shadow Clones are the only ones I'm not disappointed. I guess the 9.6s for all these. So um, I was hoping, since they came straight from the factory and everything, I was hoping for 9.8s. Um, but 9.6 I was fine with. Um, so the 9.4 for issue one is a little disappointing. Um, that's the only one that, 9.8 for this one was awesome. Really happy to get that. Um, so yeah. Um, 9.6. I'll definitely check out the graders notes. I might even do a video afterwards, guys, that has all the graders notes. I'll show you guys everything. This is 9.4 that I guess 9.6 on. Um, yeah, I'm on my phone, obviously. I'm filming on it, so I can't check out the graders notes right here. But, um, but yeah, still not unhappy with these. I'm just, I'm excited to get them back this fast. Like, like I said, I can't um, say enough good things. I know they, they usually get crapped on a lot, so I can't say enough good things about CBCS. Um, I love their, I actually, unlike a lot of people, I like their labels better than CGC, but that's just me. But uh, something killing the children, I guessed uh, 9.6, and that's what I got. So once again, brand new came from the comic shop, would have liked to have gotten 9.8, but it's a lot of black in this cover, and black covers are harder to get in 9.8. But yeah, guys. So that is my graded comics. Um, thanks as always for watching my videos. Keep checking out. Um, like and subscribe if you get a chance. If not, it's cool. You can always come back and watch them later. Um, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, hopefully, like I said, I'll be this Wednesday. I'll be filming for New Comic Book Day uh, with new comics I pick up. And uh, hopefully, I can get that up Wednesday for you guys. And yeah, guys, I appreciate it again. Uh, yep. Yeah, see y'all later.